Hi, my name is Jason Short from VistaDB Software. This is going to be a real quick entity framework demo showing how to manually map up entity objects in the EDM mapping tool within Visual Studio 2008 Service Pack 1. Um, it's not very difficult to map up entities. You do not have to use foreign key relationships, um, but some of the errors you get in Visual Studio are kind of obtuse and difficult to understand. So I just wanted to put together a quick demo for a couple of users who had asked for it. Here we are in Visual Studio and I'm going to select an association between products and suppliers. Note the little bracket here and now say table mapping and I am going to choose products. So now you'll see that products maps product ID maps to product ID and supplier ID maps to supplier ID. But now when you build you get an error. This error is actually because the supplier ID property also exists in the navigation property for suppliers. So you have to get rid of the supplier ID which will only be available within the navigation property of suppliers after that. You also have to change the mapping, the conceptual mapping uh, from a one-to-many to a one-to-one. -one over in the association properties. In this particular case, because the ID is nullable, it should actually be a zero to one relationship. That's all for this quick demo. Um, you should now all be able to access products from the supplier's navigation property. Um, that plural on the end of the navigation property is one of the things that drives a lot of people nuts, but you can go through and change those. Um, this was just a real quick how to get past those initial compiler errors that don't make a lot of sense.